What's up guys, Maddie Mo here. So I was browsing random tech online the other day and I came across the HP Stream 7 Windows tablet. It wasn't the tablet itself that caught my eye, but the price tag of $80 US or $100 here in Canada. At first glance, I was like, this has to be running Windows RT and it's most likely going to be complete garbage. But what caught my eye was the fact that I was running a full version of Windows 8.1 on a quad-core chip. And to make matters more enticing, it was also being bundled with a one-year subscription to Office 365 Personal, which also includes one terabyte of OneDrive space and a $25 gift card to the Windows Store. So to put this in perspective, an Office 365 personal subscription for one year costs $70 US. And forget about the $25 gift card for a second, let's just call that icing on the cake. This tablet effectively becomes a $10 tablet. Now I don't know about you, but this sounds like a pretty sweet deal. So let's go ahead and actually quickly review this tablet and see what it can actually do. The HP Stream 7 is a heavy tablet weighing 0.8 pounds and it's surrounded by big bezels. Driving this on your foot will definitely cost you a trip to the hospital. The bottom houses the speaker, which is a small mono speaker that produces mediocre sound. The right side holds the plastic volume and power controls and located at the top, we have our micro USB port and audio jack. Flipping it over to the back, we have a two megapixel rear facing camera. It's not a great camera by all means, but the fact that this tablet even has a camera is an added bonus. If you want to access the micro SD card slot, you have to pry open the removable cover. It's a little tough to open at first, but once you get in, you'll notice the micro SD card slot along with a 3000 milliamp battery. The battery is not easily swappable as a removable battery on a smartphone, but can easily be replaced if needed. Now let's talk about the display. It's a seven inch WVA IPS panel with a resolution of 1280 by 800. This is actually a pretty decent display, especially for the price. Most tablets at this price point use a TN panel, which is absolute garbage to look at. The fact that this has an IPS panel is a most welcome addition. The resolution also works really well with Windows 8.1, giving the operating system a more natural look on a tablet form factor. The rest of the internals include an Intel Atom quad-core 1.33 GHz CPU and Intel HD graphics. It also has 32 GB of storage space and 1 GB of RAM. Okay, enough about the specs. How does this $8 tablet actually run? Can this thing play Crisis 3 or is it slow as a potato? Okay, now obviously you can't play Crisis 3, but you can do a lot of other things really well. So instead of me telling you what it can run, how about I just show you? First up is productivity, and I'd love to show you the Microsoft Office Suite, but I'm going to be giving this tablet away in a giveaway, and I don't want to activate the copy of Office since the winner of this tablet will receive a one-year subscription. Instead, I loaded up Google Docs, which as you can see loads and works fine. Don't get me wrong, it's not super fast, but it's not slow either, and it won't hinder you from getting actual work done. Don't expect to do much more than editing documents. This is a Intel Atom processor with one gigabytes of RAM. Running Photoshop or any other resource demanding application will just not work well. If you plan on using this tablet for strictly media consumption, then you'll be quite pleased. Browsing the net, watching movies, and reading books were all a fluid experience. This is obviously not a tablet meant for games, but for the hell of it, I loaded up League of Legends to see if the $8 Beast could handle such a task. Surprisingly, it didn't blow up, even though it took ages to load, but I could tell the tablet had thoughts of ending its own life. I put all the settings on low and surprisingly it was able to get 30 frames per second. The only problem is whenever there was a lot of movement on the screen, it would drop down to 5. Playing solo games against the computer might be okay, but I'm sure your teammates in a multiplayer environment wouldn't appreciate your lag. So the bottom line is this tablet is great for media consumption and basic productivity apps. The fact that it runs a full version of Windows 8.1 and will be eligible to an upgrade to Windows 10 is a pretty sweet bonus. Pair that with a one year office subscription and a $25 gift card to the Windows Store and this is the best $80 tablet you can buy. I'm going to be giving this tablet away in an upcoming giveaway. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to be notified. And that's pretty much it for this mini review on the HP Stream 7. If you guys thought this is a pretty cool tablet for the price, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see everybody in the next episode.